Hi and welcome back to my XP tutorial. This is the example part, like promised. So here on this breadboard you can see uh, an Arduino. Uh, in my last video I showed you how to hook up an Arduino on a breadboard. So we will just use it. And here you can see the XP. Uh, yeah, this Arduino is flashed with a physical pixel sketch from the examples. So um, the LED on pin 13 will bling or will go on if the Arduino receives an H wire the serial communication, and the LED will turn off when it uh, yeah, when it will get an L over the serial communication. So I just hooked up this XP. Uh, yeah, here's a 3.3 power supply for the XP I hooked up, quite similar to the 5 volt power supply I showed you in my last video. And uh, then you have to connect the second pin of the XP, in this case it's the orange wire, with the second pin of the Arduino. And the third pin of the Arduino, this yellow wire, must be connected to the third pin of the XP. So this part is finished now. When I power up, you will see uh, yeah, that nothing happens. Uh, the Arduino doesn't get the H's or L's, so the LED will stay off. And this Arduino I flashed with a simple program. Uh, yeah, every second it will send an L or an H over the serial port. So this XP will send the L's and H's to this XP and the LED will flash. So yeah, it's hooked up quite similar. Uh, yeah, the 3.3 voltage of the yeah, volts of the Duma Lenovo board. And then the second pin of the XP is connected to the RX of the Duma Lenovo board and the TX is connected uh, to the third pin of the XP. So very simple. So now it will power up and after a short while you will see this LED blinking. And here we are. Just works fine. So we just created a wireless communication between two Arduinos. So like you, you, know, you can imagine there are unlimited possibilities to use this over a quite far range. So these are, like I told, the 60 milliwatts versions. Uh, yeah, so I will have a range of about 300 or 400 meters. So yeah, if there are any sensors or stuff you want to communicate with a far part away, these little things are just great for it. So I hope I could help you with this little tutorial. If there are any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Just leave a comment and I will answer them as fast as I can. And also if you've got uh, yeah, any other problems with Arduino, just ask. Maybe I will make a tutorial about your questions. And yeah, have fun with it. So, thanks for watching.